So now that we understand the general ways that the clock works and how the timing of the game is run, let's take a look at another important aspect of timing the game, and this aspect is called the play clock. So the play clock is much like a shot clock is in basketball, which is to say it forces the team on offense to continue playing, or maybe a better way to say it is that it prevents the team uh, on offense from getting a lead and then simply standing there with the ball to run out the clock for the rest of the game. Uh, what fun would that be, right? So uh, the play clock kind of forces that both teams to, to continue uh, to move forward, to continue to play. So typically the play clock will be 40 seconds um, long, which means that from the time that a play ends, from the time a player is tackled or the ball carrier is pushed out of bounds, that team then has 40 seconds to snap the ball to begin the next play. So as I said, this prevents a team from just wasting unnecessary time. Um, but it will give them adequate time to, um, to regroup, to, to call the next play, um, and then begin that next play. If a team does fail to snap the ball, uh, after that, the play clock has expired, they will be called for a delay of game penalty. Uh, they will, and re that will result in a five yard penalty, and so the ball will be moved back for the next play. Um, and so we'll look at penalties and how all those work in the next few upcoming videos. But typically, 40 seconds is the play clock uh, for each play. There are a few exceptions on that for things uh, like a penalty, uh, should be a foul, or if generally if, if the game, um, if you're watching it on TV, oftentimes the game will go to a commercial for certain um, things. And then whenever the game comes back, things like uh, turnovers, um, when, when a, so maybe an exchange has taken place. And so let's say that the, defensive team has intercepted the ball um, and so then that would then mean that the, the team that was on defense would become the offensive team so they would take a break they would allow uh, the offensive players to come on to the field and then for the other team the, the defensive players and so typically if that game is on TV then there would be a commercial while all that is happening when they come back from the commercial it's not necessary to give that offensive team 40 seconds to start their first play because we kind of assume that they've had that uh, timeout the time when the commercial was taking place to regroup to kind of know what they're going to do uh, and to get onto the field so in that case the play clock would be shortened to 25 seconds but, but really it's kind of all the same things apply you still need to um, snap the ball before that time has expired to start that next play. And then of course, on the next play, you would just go back to 40 seconds uh, for the play clock. But that's basically how the play clock works.